In previous videos, I showed you how to send emails over SMTP using Milkit, and I showed you how to track emails both in a consensual way and in a less consensual way. The consensual way requests a delivery confirmation or a read receipt from the recipient, which would result in the sender, so me, getting an email stating that the email was delivered correctly and or read. Keep that in mind because now I'll talk about Milkit's IMAP client to access your mail server programmatically to, for example, access folders like your inbox, search for emails, copy or move emails around, add labels, and more. I've used Milkit's IMAP client in the past for building some kind of chat feature but going over emails. Let's say someone is interested in this dog and wants to contact the dog shelter. Then they can do that, fill in their info, even their candidacy, like that. And then that will send an email to the shelter. It's unlikely that that dog shelter has installed my application to use an in-app chat feature. Even if they had, it would be unlikely that they checked it every now and then. Build an app chat feature where the initial reaction, so the in initial request, the message typed in here, was then seen as the first chat bubble. And then whenever the dog shelter responded on that uh, email, then I kind of had to synchronize that email thread with my database and in that way I could have a the look and feel of a chat while it was actually communication over email. And for that I had to use IMAP. That was a feature in the proof of concept that I afterwards uh, removed because I di it didn't have that much added value. Well, so I found that code in an older code base and I copied it over to a new Nougat package. So I've got two methods and I call this one IMAP querier uh, for lack of a better name. Two methods get emails for search term, a sync with a folder name and a search term and get emails for search query async with a, that folder name. It's basically an overload method and then the milk gets search query. Let's take a look at the IMAP config first. That's similar as the SMTP config of Milkit, just over a different host and a different port. Then the two methods, let's say we want to search for invoices in the inbox or in the send uh, folder. Then we first need to construct a search query. So let's say the search term is invoice. And then we can construct that query by using Milkit's search query class and just say, for example, subject contains that search term and we can add expressions, the or, the and, and we can do a lot more with it. So we could do an and as well. Let's see. And then search query dot, oh. then we could uh, access yeah, maybe the scene or use a method like you see with the subject container, the body contains. Once we have that, we can actually access that folder. So the inbox or the send folder. So of course we have to make that IMAP client, um, connect authenticate and then get that target folder open it and then we search that folder. So the inbox or the send folder for that query, for that expression. And all the results, yeah, that will result in a list of IDs. So called it result IDs, not the actual entire emails, just the IDs. And then for each ID, I could not do it in a task when all. For each ID, result ID will get the email entirely. 
So, so you can use Milkit IMAP client to access your mailbox, the emails therein, the folders, uh, copy emails over, move emails, uh, add labels, flags. Could not use it for knowing whether someone received my emails or read them because that information does not reside in my mailbox. So if I were to request a delivery confirmation or a read receipt for each email that I send out, then my mailbox would receive an email each time a, an email that I sent was delivered correctly or was opened by the recipient. And then I could use uh, Mailkit's IMAP client to periodically access my mailbox and get all of those uh, delivery confirmations or all those read receipt uh, notifications and in that way maybe know the average open rate. So I wanted to put that out there since I was working with these uh, email protocols and if you want to access the original code to adjust to your use cases, then you can go to my website, kesco.com and get my NuGet packages for free when you sign up. You could do it, wait for that pop-up or you could go to downloads and get your copy. Don't forget to like and subscribe and make sure to check out my Patreon page as well where I post most of my code.